Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to build a website completely from scratch using this platform called Wix. And I have a link in the description to it that you could go ahead and sign up. Now, the way you build a website on Wix is an all-in-one platform. So you don't have to actually combine multiple different things like you do with other platforms like WordPress. If you're new to this whole process, what I recommend is you watch my beginner's guide to building a website where I show you all kinds of different tools and all kinds of different companies that help you build websites. This is just one of them, but I'm covering all of them from that video and I'll put a whole list in the description. So how to build a website with Squarespace, with WordPress, with Shopify, you'll see all of that in the description as they get made. So in this video, we're gonna build our website using Wix. I just jumped over to my computer here and we're gonna go to the creation tab here and let's go to website templates. You could see if you see a different type of template that you think makes more sense, like a portfolio website, you could actually jump in over here. But I typically start here because there's over 800 templates and just about anything from stores to communities to blogs, I could find that here. So in my case, I'm gonna go to creative here and I'm building a website for my video production company. So I'm gonna choose film and video here and you could see a bunch of different templates. Now, why I recommend templates is you could actually go to blank templates if you prefer to look at things this way. But the reason why I like this all templates page is you kind of get a good finished look at what the website's gonna look like. So let me go back to the one I chose here and after browsing a few different ones, I'll go ahead and stick with this one here. So you could go ahead and view any of them and it's gonna kind of give you a layout and do a full demo. So I recommend you always do this because then you'll kind of get an idea what that is gonna look like as a finished product. And then if you like it, in this case, I like this one, I'm gonna press edit here to go to the next page. Now here, just go ahead and create your accounts here. You're not paying at this point. You're just creating an account so you could move forward. And here you're gonna land into that website editor. Now, the first thing I recommend you do here is just pay attention to the top. The majority of people view your website on mobile devices. So that's why I always recommend that you kind of look at it a lot of times when you design in the mobile view over the desktop view. Traditionally, people only think of desktop view. That's not the way to approach it. So you could always switch back. So I definitely recommend switching back. Just for the case of this video, I'm gonna just show you the desktop view just because it's bigger here to see the different things, but they do adjust for mobile and desktop. Now, let me just kind of give you a brief overview of what you're looking at besides these icons here. On the left side, basically, is how you could change different sections. So the plus sign here, lets you add a bunch of different sections to your site. Then you have the menus. Now you definitely want to work out what your menu on top is going to look like depending on what you're doing with your website. But typically you don't want all the things that are gonna show up here. It's very rare that you're gonna get a template that's exactly what you want. So we'll work on that. Theme manager, I sometimes like to start here because by default, this is the theme colors, but you could go ahead and change the theme. So if you like a different set of colors more, like this one, I'll choose this one, you could see some things are going to change here depending on what you're going to choose. So you kind of scroll around and look at the different themes. So maybe I want a lighter one here or a darker one. I could go ahead and choose that. I'll stick with this one for now. So, so far, just changing the theme color to your liking. Then I come to background. Now background is what's actually behind your website. You see this? Now I changed the background. So sometimes you want that, but a lot of times you just want a solid color for your background. So in my case, I'm actually going to leave it on white here and let's see what that looks like. I'll click away and that's better. It's less distracting here because I have so many images with this theme anyway. I don't want another image as the background. But you can change the entire website background here to one of these, so that's this background option. It does come in handy just depending on what kind of theme. Then you have your media tab. Let me go in here because you could actually change the different things that are showing up here. So if you don't have your own images or videos, there are a bunch of free images and videos you could choose. So for example, let me just choose this one here, I'll select it, and then I could go ahead and put it on my website like this and then kind of move it around. So it's really, really useful 
to do something like this. And at any time I could go ahead and change it. So we're gonna spend a lot of time in this media from Wix tab. So this is gonna give you videos, it's gonna give you images, it's gonna give you all kinds of stuff that you could choose. And this is where you upload your own images and videos too, if you have them. That's very handy. And I have a link to Shutterstock, which you could access over here. And you could buy things that are much more expensive than the free stuff that you get, but they're more high-end. So that's available to you as well with Shutterstock. So I have a subscription to Shutterstock already. So a lot of things I buy from there. I'm gonna delete this for now, because in this case, we need to actually change this video background. So if I click on something that I see here, I could go and change the strip background and then I'll get some settings like that. So I definitely wanna change this video, right? I don't know what this is, it's a template. So let's say we're gonna choose one from our free section. We'll just choose this right now and change the background. And that's different than your website background, right? This is based on that theme that I chose and it has a video playing on top. And I'll go ahead and press X. Every time I make a change, what I do is I look at it on mobile to see what that's gonna look like on mobile. So it's gonna look like that. So you can see the text is not really working out, but it was working out on desktop, right? So we need to make sure we change either the text color or placement of the text. And I always press this little preview option because then it will play, like if you have a video, it will play it for you and you can see what the rest of the website looks like and then back to the editor. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this, even though auto save is on, I usually save every time I make a change to make sure it's good. I could always view my website from the link that it provides too, but I'm gonna to talk to you about getting your own domain name. That's exactly what you want rather than what you see over here. So I'll press done. This is not published yet, by the way. This is just for you. All right, let me click this again because I'm gonna change this background. I'm gonna press the settings option because you could actually do a color overlay. So let me choose that because with a color overlay, if I increase kind of the opacity, let me just do a dark or bluish, let's see what that looks like, a bluish color overlay, then the text becomes easier to read. Okay, so if I preview this now, I could see, you see the text becomes much easier to read. So I love these videos on top, but sometimes you do need that kind of color overlay, especially on mobile. Now you see my text is much, much easier to read here. Okay, so back to the editor. So that's what I typically do now is I go and change everything that's in the template or remove them entirely. So I wanna edit text. We'll go ahead and change the text here. You could resize this. This is just like any other text editor. So I'll go ahead and resize this to see what that looks like. I do like it longer. Then I'm gonna grab this other box, maybe bring it up. I'll bring this one up. So it kind of gives you these guides that snaps on to make sure you're aligned when you're adding your text. And I'll go ahead and edit this. And I'll go ahead and select this one. And if you just press delete on your keyboard, it does delete sections, okay? So super simple. But what if you wanted to add a bigger text? You just select edit text and just increase the size like this, okay? And you have a bunch of editing options for text, which is really, really useful. Now, I recommend every time you make changes, go to the edit text section, and there's a SEO and accessibility section, and make sure that things are laid out correctly. So it says choose HTML tag. And I usually just for my heading choose a H1 tag. Now this is more advanced and SEO related, but make sure your big title for your website is a H1 tag. H1 tag just carries more weights when it comes to ranking your website on Google. So I typically do that, especially with my company name here. I'm gonna change the text here to contact us instead of buy, right? Because I'm not selling anything in this case. And then the link is gonna take me to a page where I could choose what page that is, right? So it's taking me to this page right now, but we're only working on the homepage so far. So this is as easy as changing any elements that you see or deleting it by just either pressing managing media or if it's text managing the text or changing the text and go ahead and change anything you want. Let me press add media one more time. And this time let's choose a different image here and I'll press upload. And you could see you get access to all kinds of different things you could log into, okay? Or you could upload from your computer, which is most likely the case. I'll just choose something from one of my videos here. And as you can see, it just brings it in here and all you have to do if you are happy with what it looks is add to page or you could crop and adjust and all kinds of edits to it. I'll add it to page. And you could see it's right here and I could grab it and put it as number one. Okay, let me just exit here to show you what that looks like. I'll press done. 
and there it is, right? It just automatically adjusted it and I could go ahead and change everything else on here. And this really cool thing that I haven't seen in other platforms, it says get text ideas, you could select this. And what you could do here is type out what kind of site this is. And then it's going to give you some ideas. So for the welcome page, if you weren't sure what to put, you could choose welcome, create text, and it's going to give you some options related to that. So you can see, you can count on us, your video production company, authentic creative content. So you could choose one of these, right? Just like this, and it changes it for you. So if you're not sure, and if you're not good at copy here, or writing your titles and descriptions, you could always use this get text idea, or you could always hire someone that's good at that, which is typically what I like to do. Okay, so I won't bore you with the rest of this. You get the idea so far, just going through and changing this. But now, this is not the only page, right? This has a bunch of pages. So how do we edit the other pages? Well, over here, we're on the home page, but if you go to the stream by page, again, everything is identical. It went from the home page to this page, but I could just click on anything, get the text edit option here, get text ideas. Every box is movable, deletable. You could place it anywhere you want. So easy to just drag and drop with this option. I'm gonna go ahead and save for now. And then typically, after I go through all my pages and make my adjustments to each one, I wanna actually change the menu on top because maybe I don't wanna come in soon or catalog page. So I'll go to the menu and pages section right here. And you could see, if I don't wanna come in soon page, I could go ahead and delete it. And it will just delete from up here and it will readjust the size of these to still have the same kind of formatting and look correct right? So you could always turn them on and off too with this eyeball. Some of them could be turned on and off with this eyeball. You could always use that option as well. Then we want to contact an about us page, but maybe we don't need a stream page. So I'll go ahead and delete that. And let me close this because I'm going to go back to the home page. And when you have buttons like this, let me edit the text here. You want to link it to a different page because I just deleted a page. So I'll link this to contact page. Where is that? Over here, I'll do a drop down and we'll choose contact and press none. Okay, so now it says contact us. And if I preview it here and someone clicks on contact, it will take you to the contact page where I can make sure I update this page as well and make it work for me. What about the logo, right? You wanna change your website logo. So you click over here, change image. A logo is an image. So all you have to do is upload a transparent image here and if you don't have one, they do have a logo builder here. And I do have another video about showing you how to create a logo completely from scratch. One of my favorite solutions for that is in the description below too. So if you don't have a logo, watch that, create it, then add it over here. Now a little bit more of an advanced option here. It says add apps. Basically Wix has this whole marketplace of free and paid apps here where you could add things that are not included, right? Like visitor analytics sometimes are not included in some of the options, or if you're booking things like events, you have to pay separate for that. And there are some things like Wix chat that come in really handy that's already installed in this template, but you definitely wanna browse this and add things that are a lot of times free to install, but some paid options that make your website really, really powerful. Since that's a little more advanced, I'll mention another advanced option here. There's a dev mode on top where it basically lets you look at the code. So if you bring someone that knows a little bit of code like CSS or JavaScript to make this more of something that you can't do here by dragging and dropping, that's also available to you in dev mode, but it's so easy to drag and drop. I typically never use dev mode in site builders like this. Then what I recommend, let's say your website's done, come to settings because you wanna actually connect this to a domain. So if you have no idea what I mean by domain, that's just a website address that shows up over here, like google.com, that's Google's domain. And I wanna replace the default one, right? I don't want a professional website that says dot wixsite.com, right? I want my own domain like New Slate Films. So I would go ahead and buy a new domain here, or if I already have one connected. Now, if you're new, I recommend just buying one from here rather than figuring out how to transfer it. So you would type your domain name, and if it's available, it will basically give you a check mark and you could go ahead and get it. Now you do have to pay for the domain name and you do actually have to upgrade this section now. Now you get one year of free domain with upgrading your plan. So let me actually show you the different pricing points. I think it's a good time to kind of walk you through that. 
But as you can see, when you land on this page, you get these website plans for business, enterprise, and I'm just on this first tab here. And typically this one is the best one to get and the one they recommend. And it comes with $300 of ad vouchers. And I have all kinds of ad videos for creating YouTube ads and Google ads. I believe this comes with Google ads and Bing ads. And I believe you could use Google ads on YouTube as well. Really useful to get that option. The video hours I don't much care about because I typically just embed a video from YouTube so I'm not hosting the video, but that does increase with bigger plans. Same with storage. So typically 20 gigs or 10 gigs is plenty, but if you just have a text website, you could actually use this option, but you could kind of compare, like you get professional logo with this pro option too, if you don't have that social media logo files, website analytics is critical. So I definitely don't go under this plan because I do want to know what's happening to my website. So that's important. You could also use free services like Google Analytics for that. So this is where you would select your plan and continue with signing up for this whole process. Anytime you could come to this dashboard page and then go ahead and publish your site, connect it to a domain, and then do some SEO to get found on Google. These are the steps that it's gonna recommend that you do. Next, you could always get your mailbox and email plan over here as well. And that's your brief introduction of building a website completely from scratch using Wix, and it walks you through everything really step by step. So I wanted to introduce you to it, but I'm not covering every little thing you could do there because I think the platform does a good job doing that. Now, if you wanna compare it to other platforms, as I mentioned in the beginning, I have resources in the description to all kinds of ways to make websites and a beginner's guide to showing you all the plans that are available without going in depth. So you just get a brief overview of what's what. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and I will see you next time.